After the choir finished singing, Minister Silas asked the elders to give free copies of the three no-nos to all people in the audience. She said that she will be speaking about the topics in this book. She asked people to pass the book forward to family, friends, and enemies, etc., after they finished reading it. Minister began with, We are wonderfully made in the image of God. The image that God's Word builds inside each of us can become the most powerful force in our lives. That image will cause all of us to succeed when others fail. The Lord desires above all things that every human being may prosper and be in good health even as our souls prosper. Unfortunately, life can get very stressful and contribute to both mental and physical health problems. The dictionary defines stress as a state of mental tension and worry caused by problems in life, work, and something that causes strong feelings of worry or anxiety. A state, worry and fear, resulting from stress, especially one of bodily or mental tension, resulting from factors that tend to alter an existent equilibrium job-related stress. Studies have shown that chronic stress, which is a mainstay of modern life, doesn't merely exacerbate disease, it can actually cause it. What can Christians do to shield against these negative thoughts that can lead to serious health problems? First is to believe, follow, and have faith in God's principles from the Bible. God is our great power, and the Bible is the source of communication to reveal His Word that above all things, He wants us to be happy and successful in all aspects of our lives. However, we must first understand the hidden forces of the three no-nos that could have a devastating impact on our thoughts, which impact our spirit, which impact our soul and our mindset. Worry, doubt, and fear work together as a strong enemy against you the demon thoughts keep the mind in darkness. How can you see light when your mind is cloudy, with a cover that prevents you from thinking clearly? I do hope this information will give you strength to clean house and get all of this stuff out of your mind. Uproot these negative thoughts, which are weeds that are covering your growth. You can be held back from moving forward with these three demons. They are a hindrance to keep you from taking steps to better your life. Life is precious. There is no need for you to stay in this position of worrying about everything and doubting yourself. If you continue this negative thinking, life will never change for the better. Fear keeps you afraid all the time and will hold you back from making positive changes in your life. In the beginning, the Word of God was there, and He was the source of life. God's life here on earth was the light that brought hope to all mankind. This light shines into our moral darkness, but the dark minds of men did not understand it. To write these uplifting words in this book is to bring you out of darkness. The darkness tried to extinguish the light, but could not overcome it. Worry, doubt, and fear are no-nos. You must say no to each of these negative thoughts. Whenever worry rises up and loads you down with all kinds of problems, reject these thoughts by saying to yourself, No, I am not worrying about it. Things will work out in Jesus' name. Doubt removes yourself from your mind. I say, believe all things are possible with God. Fear is an enemy to mankind. To be afraid is to say no. I recommend tossing fear completely out of your mind. Can you think of any benefits to worrying, doubting, and living in fear? These three words can keep your total body in bondage 
and one may begin to experience anxiety, palpitation, and trembling. The imbalanced body plays a role in the imbalance of the mind. Don't be stuck in the rut with negative thinking. God is our protector. Believe in His power.